Hello everyone, welcome to Mathflix with Sir Paul. In this episode, sisimulan natin pag-aralan ang tungkol sa circles. Pero mga basic concepts muna. Mahalaga na alam natin yung mga basic concepts para mas madali nating maintindihan yung mga mas mahihira. To be more organized, I want to divide the discussion into four parts. First, point location. Second, ano yung definition ng circle? Third, ano yung mga basic terms na kailangan nating malaman? And lastly, mag-graph na rin tayo pero basic muna. Let's start with point location. I have here circle A. Ang pangalan ng circle natin ay circle A dahil ang center ay point A. There are three locations where our points can be located. The first one is in, second one is on, the third one is outside. In kapag sa loob ng circle, on kapag mismong nasa circle, at outside naman kapag nasa labas ng circle. Let's add more points on our plane. In here, let's identify which points are in, on, and outside. Obviously, points D, A, E are points inside the circle. Moreover, points Q, T, and V are points on the circle only because sila yung mismong nasa circle. Lastly, points M, G, and L are points outside the circle. Madali lang, di ba? Let's proceed. Alam na natin kung ano ang itsura ng circle. But what is its mathematical definition? A circle is a set of points that are equidistant from a fixed point known as the center. I want you to focus on the set of points, equidistant, which means that all these points have equal distance from the center. Madali lang itong intindihin. It only tells us na lahat ng points on the circle ay parehas ang layo mula sa ating center. For example, pumili tayo ng limang random points on our circle. Let's have points C, O, V, I, and D. By definition, all these points will have the same distance from the center. Ngayon, alam na natin kung ano ang definition ng ating circle. Magdagdag pa tayo ng iba pang terms. That distance from the center to any point on the circle is known as the length of the radius. A radius is a segment connecting the center to any point on the circle. In this example, line segment ST is a radius. Now, let's extend line ST to form a longer line UT. In this illustration, line segment UT is called the diameter. A diameter is a segment connecting two points on the circle and at the same time passing through the center. In this example, UT is a diameter. Now, ano pa ba ang kaya nating pigain sa ating illustration? We know that line US is equal to line ST. Why? Because both of them are radius, or in this case, radii. Kung ang US ay equal sa ST, what do you think is the relationship of our diameter UT to our center S? Hmm, what do you think? Since US is equal to ST, that means that S is a middle point of UT. In math, we term the middle point as a midpoint. Center S is the midpoint of UT. Kaya naman, importante na alam din natin na ang center ay midpoint of the diameter. Now, mag-graph naman tayo, pero basic lang muna. Dalawa lang ang kailangan natin kapag mag-graph tayo ng circle. We only need the center and the radius. If we have these two, then kaya na natin mag-graph ng circle. Let's have an example. Let the ordered pair 1, 3 be the center of a circle with radius equal to 4. First, i-plot muna natin yung ating center. The center is at 1, 3. Our x value is 1, our y value is 3. Find the intersection that is where point 1, 3 is located. Now, since our radius is 4, we can trace our circle by counting 4 units up, down, left, or right. After that, we can already trace our circle. Basically, that's how you graph a circle. Madali lang, di ba? Let's have another example. Let be the ordered pair negative 5, 2 be the center of a circle with radius 5. First, let's plot our center. Our x equals negative 5 and our y is 2. Find the intersection. That is where point negative 5, 2 is located. Next, let's count 5 units left, right, up, or down to trace our circle. Then, we can already draw our circle. Gets na ba? Hindi pa? Let's have our last example. Let be the ordered pair 0, negative 9 over 2 be the center of a circle with radius 3. Take note that negative 9 over 2 is equal to negative 4.5. 
we converted it to its decimal form para mas madali natin siyang mahanap sa ating Cartesian plane. Now again, let's plot our center. Our x value is 0 and our y value is negative 4.5. Find the intersection. That is where point 0, negative 4.5 is located. To trace our circle, let's count 3 units up, down, left, and right. And then we can already illustrate our circle. In our future episodes, we'll talk more about circles more deeply. If you learned something from this video, do not forget to share this to your friends and your classmates. Also, comment down below kung ano pa yung mga math topics na gusto nyo i-discuss natin sa ating mga series. I know that online class has been very challenging to some of our students and also our teachers, but I believe that as we work together, we can survive through this. Again, I am Sir Paul and this has been Mathflix with Sir Paul. Thank you for watching.